Happy day. Josiah, you want to say hello to the church? Say hi. Okay. Let's pray before we start. Dear Lord, we have come to learn from you. Please help us that we may know you and that we may know what you desire from us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So once again, it's still March, so we are still doing the fundamental belief number 19, and this is Quedrol B before you. And today, we are going to learn about obedience. Oh? Obedience. Oh? Obedience. Josiah, do you obey your mommy and daddy? Yes. You love to obey? Yes. What's your favorite commandment? My commandment. Yes. What's your favorite commandment? favorite commandment mm -hmm. is uh, Ob obey your father and your mother that your days may be long in the land which the Lord gives you. Wow! And that's because that's your favorite commandment, mommy and daddy made you a married tree. What is this? A married tree. So when you do good things and you obey and you help mommy to wash utensils or you help daddy to wipe his shoes or you sweep the house or you're kind to people, you take a merit and you come stick on your merit tree, isn't it? Yes. You, you love your merit tree? Yes. It has nice apples. Yes. These apples show good character, isn't it? Yes. And when you disobey, what happens? You get a demerit. You come and pluck your apple, isn't it? Yes. Yes, and the tree will be very lonely, isn't it? Yes. Do you like to disobey? No. No, you like to obey and keep your apples, isn't it? Yes. And when all these merits are full everywhere, everywhere, what do you, what do mommy and daddy do? They take you merit shopping. You do what merit? Shopping. This one, they turn it into currency and you are able to buy some good things. What is this? A high Whose is it? Mine. Yes, you are able to buy some good merits. Mer good things because you are a good boy, isn't it? Yes. So this is your merit bag? Yes. And you love it? Yes. Now, can I tell you something? Yes. Oh, there's something I've forgotten. Whose name is here? Josiah. What is it written? Josiah Kongo. Children, can you see? Yes. What is it written? Josiah Kongo. Yes. Now, can I tell you something interesting? God works with us the same way. God works with us the same way. What does God say in Matthew chapter 6, verse 20? He says, Lay for yourselves up treasures in heaven, where moth and rust doth not corrupt, isn't it? Yes. And he also says in Revelation 22 verse 12 that behold I come and my reward is with me. So that, 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 does that mean we have treasures in heaven? Yes. When we do good, does Jesus reward us? Yes. And we have nice treasures and when he comes he's going to give them to us? Yes. Now let me tell you of a story. I tell you of a Story. Of a man called Joshua. Who knows Joshua? Who knows Joshua, the son of Nun? Who knows him? Now, Joshua was the man who obeyed God and he got good, good merits. In Joshua chapter 1, verse 9, God said, Have I not commanded thee? Okay, what was the command? Do not fear. Oh, that was not the command. What was the command? The command came one verse before. It was in Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Yes. Yes. The, microphone. the microphone is not loud. <laughs> Communication team, the microphone is not loud enough for Josiah. Okay. So, verse 8 says, This word of this, Book. The words of this book shall not depart from your mouth. You shall meditate upon it day and 
night and do everything according that is written therein. And then your way will be prosperous and you shall have good success. Isn't that what God commanded Joshua? Yes. Yes, that is what God commanded Joshua. And did God, Joshua listen? Was Joshua obedient? Yes. Even in the simplest of things. Do you remember the story of Jericho? Yes. God told Joshua, for you to take Jericho, I need you to go around it every day once. And on the seventh day, how many times? And then you shout with a loud voice and what will happen? The walls will come tumbling down. Joshua for the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, and the walls came tumbling down. If it were you, would you have done what God had said? Or you say, this is very silly. How will it even work? But Joshua obeyed God. Even when it looked so simple and wondering, how can this even happen? As long as God has commanded you, you obey. You do what? Obey. Now, there was this man called Saul. He was the first king of Israel. How many know King Saul? King Saul disobeyed God. He did not obey God fully. Because he wanted to kill David. He wanted to kill David. That is very true. And he did not obey God fully. You know, when God gave him the full commandment, he only did half of it, isn't it? Yes. He didn't obey God fully, isn't yes. it? Yes. Now, can we have two families here? We want to do an illustration. Two families come, Tendai and Baba Tendai here. And then somewhere, this come on this other side. With your child. Now we are going to have a small illustration. There are two families here. These two families have raised their children in God. They have come, brought their children to Sabbath school. Their children have come for VBS, camp meeting, adventurers, pathfinders, and everything they could do in their power. Ten years from now, Baba Tendai, how would you feel if Tendai tells you on Sabbath morning, Daddy, I'm not going with you to church because I have a football club meeting today and I want to go with my friends. How would you feel? Sad. You feel very sad, isn't it? Yes. And here we have Samuel and Ian. So 10 years from now, if Ian comes and tells you, Daddy, this Sabbath morning, you know we have prayer meetings in church before Sabbath school. And I have invited my friends to come with me. But you and mommy are delaying. Can you please pay for us a cab so we can go? How would you feel? I feel good. You will feel good, isn't it? But you have both raised your children almost the same way, isn't it? So what happened between this family and this family? What is the difference? Teacher Joseph, do you mind to tell us what's the difference between these two families? The difference between the two families is that one family may have raised a child to just... Uh, face duty or to do things dutifully. The other family, because the father was joyful and happy when he was taking them to church, he raised them to do things out of love. Okay, well done. So, children and parents, it is important to know obedience stems out of love. Obedience stems out of? No. If you don't love your mommies and your daddies, will you obey them? It's the same way with God. If you don't love God, will you keep his commandments? No. No, you will not. But it is important for us as a family to show each other in the home that we love each other first, mommies and daddies, and then we love the 
child. Because if the child does not see the love in the family, will they know that God really loves them? No, a child will not comprehend God's love if you do not have the love in the family. So obedience stems out of love. love. Okay, so will you remember to love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your body, and with all your soul? Yes. And then it will be very easy to do your duties, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so now... We are going to pray with Psalms 23. Josiah, you lead us with Psalms 23? Yes. Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He restores he leadeth me beside the still water. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness, righteousness. for his name. Sick. Sick. Yeah. yeah. Do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me. The Lord and thy staff take up for me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. And that's the end of our story today. So see you again next Sabbath, same place, same time. But for now, it's bye. bye.